Hey everybody, no, don't adjust your dials, we're back. Um, it's been quite the 48 hours, let me tell you. Maybe even a bit longer, uh, because I'm not specifically aware of when exactly it happened, but my channel, Nintendo Prime, got hacked. I know how it was hacked, and I'll get into how it happened. Um, and I have a lot of thoughts on... The process in dealing with YouTube, uh, or the lack of dealing with YouTube, it's a really confusing process uh, from, a, well, I don't know, is, is, is Google now a trillion dollar company? I don't know. They're one of the biggest companies in the world, so it, it feels a little inexcusable that it's this difficult. Now, we are back, and that is good, and you know, if you don't want to watch this whole video and see what happened, and maybe if it happens to you, what you can do about it. Uh, then just know that, hey, we're going to have some news videos, uh, probably at least one news video, maybe, coming later today. I know this isn't the greatest angle. Not everything's set up correctly right now. Uh, I mentioned in some prior videos I'm doing some work around the studio, so it is what it is. But I wanted to appear on camera for this video uh, because this has been maybe some of my most stressful days as a YouTuber. And this includes when YouTube actually took $4,000 from my channel last year. Uh, we'll maybe talk about that a bit too, because I don't know that it's related, although I'll explain the customer service situation there. That being said, um, there are some people wondering, you know, what's happening with the giveaways. Um, so I, I did a stream where I gave away new copies of games. Uh, it's going to be a bit before I get to some of those games to give away. I apologize to those who won. Um, this situation caused even a freeze on one of my bank accounts. It's really been a, a, a pretty messed up thing. So that being said, let's get into uh, what happened and uh, what this means moving forward. And yeah, we'll just let's just get into this. So I think it was two days ago at this point, maybe it's three. My days are running together. I haven't had a lot of sleep. Uh, my channel was hacked. I didn't know what happened. I suddenly woke up, uh, you know, after getting my kids on the bus and everything, got a whole bunch of messages on Twitter and Discord, because uh, we do have a Discord server. I'll link it down in the description. Uh, and I'll link my Twitter as well, because by the way, I do a lot of direct communication on Twitter and Discord, not as much on YouTube, because it, it's not really that kind of platform. So I got a bunch of notifications that, hey, your, your channel's hacked. Hey, what happened? Hey, hey, hey. And I had no idea what was going on. And then we saw this. Uh, this is at least one image I have of it. Um, my channel was renamed to Shiba INU. Yeah. Um, and there was a live stream going on that at least last I saw it, it's been deleted, was at 180 thousand views and this live stream went on for seven and a half hours and featured elon musk and is actually a spam uh video it is a cryptocurrency illegal video um it's i hope nobody fell for the cryptocurrency thing i i literally hope none of you watched that watched that stream and thought anything they said mattered uh for those who don't know elon musk actually is aware of this specific video because uh, it's happened on a number of hacked YouTube accounts uh, and he's actually offered up a public $25,000 reward for any information that leads uh, to the discovery of the people who created this so he could obviously sue them to oblivion and all that jazz and make them pay for misrepresenting himself because he's this he what he said in there has nothing to do with the actual um, cryptocurrency situation so <sighs> That's fine. Good on Elon Musk, one of the you know smartest and richest guys in the world. But what does a small YouTuber like me do about this, right? My immediate reaction is, obviously, let me log back into my account or go through account recovery and deal with that. So I tried to do account recovery myself um, without talking to anybody at YouTube. And, of course, it didn't work. Uh, I kept saying my devices didn't belong to me. They changed the recovery email. They changed the recovery phone number. Uh, and made it impossible for me to get back into my account, which I thought was interesting because it used to be, this is how it used to work on YouTube, when I changed my account recovery email, it required me to verify at that email address that it was being changed. But YouTube apparently changed somewhere along the lines where you no longer have to verify your email change. 
So without verifying that change, they could just freely change it to anything they wanted and I can't get access back. Again, YouTube used to not be this way. I know because this channel used to be under a different email account before I moved it to my Nintendo Prime email. And yeah, there was a bunch of verifications required for the backup email address. So it's weird to me that now four years since I did that, that now you don't have to verify email changes. This would actually go a long way to me not needing to get YouTube involved in this situation because then I could manually recover my account. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't you know, force requirements or, or confirmations at the old email address for email changes. So this is where we are today. Now, moving beyond all of that, I obviously immediately went to account recovery. There is a form on account recovery that you can fill out. Um, I filled out the form with the information I had. Uh, but the funny thing about the account recovery form is it's not exactly easy to find. They don't have, you know, you, you go to the Google YouTube help section uh, on their website and it doesn't really get you to the proper form very easily. So I thought I filled out the right form. Turns out I didn't. So I didn't know what to do. Here I am, no way to do a live chat because live chat functions are locked behind an account I can't get access to. So I can't live chat for help and I can't do anything about getting a, a proper form submitted uh, or so I thought anyways to get help. Uh, in addition to this, there's no customer service number and there's no true path to understand who to talk to about getting your account back. If you get your account hacked, it's a scary thing because you don't know what to do. So I reached out to of all the YouTube channels on Twitter and I knew to reach out specifically to at team YouTube because last year we actually dealt with a situation where my channel was blowing up over Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Some of you might've even subscribed back then. And according to them, you're all bots. And they took $4,000 in revenue away from the channel claiming that all my views were bots, even though on my end, all of the evidence I have for all those views was from the recommended page by YouTube. So it appearing on the homepage and being recommended to people is, so, is how I got all the viewership that month. But they claimed it came from an outside website, AKA I botted, which I didn't do. So that makes literally no sense to me. But whatever, I dealt with the slow of the slowness of the responses and the emails and all that. And honestly, it all started by actually getting a hold of at team YouTube on Twitter. I can't remember who suggested that I reach out to at team YouTube at the time I did that. Um, and yeah, to long story short, I never got that money back. Um, it was a really crappy time. I even got demonetized for a little bit. It was so stupid. Um, but life moves on. So I knew because of that situation that, you know what, reach out to at team YouTube on Twitter. They actually usually respond at least within the same day. And I encouraged a bunch of people to retweet and help me get their attention because they obviously have, you know, millions of potential creators, you know, on, on Twitter, you know, DMing them and, and, and all that stuff. So trying to get through the crowd usually requires a lot of pings from the same channel. So they got a hold of me uh, through DM and uh, we exchanged some details and then they uh, got me to the proper form and then apologized for the form being so difficult to find. They said it's something this particular person responded to me actually mentioned it's something they're aware of um, and trying to do better with, but whatever. So I fill out the form. And then you're just stuck waiting, right? Because the form is basically a thing that's going to send all your information that you have about your channel and about what happened uh, to a generalized email address uh, that is probably got thousands, if not millions of emails in. And you basically just sit and wait your turn for someone to get around to it and respond. So um, that's that, right? Couldn't really do much else. So in the meantime, I decided, obviously, we need to rectify how the hackers got in. Now, I cannot confirm with 100% certainty this is how it happened. I'm just fairly confident it is. So for those who don't know, I this studio, this is at home. Uh, and I often leave my computer on uh, because it does updates and all that while I sleep. Uh, and sometimes my children wake up before me and decide to come into my office, usually to try to grab my switch or something like that. Um, but they, they, they usually don't have any interest in touching my computer. 
Um, but this particular uh, night, I happened to leave my email open. Now, email being open isn't that big a deal. Um, one of my children can't even read, and the other kids have no idea what any of the emails mean. So I, I don't really think much of it. Uh, so there is th th that's like the extent of my mistake. Left my computer on and left my email open. Um, but someone was clicking around in my email. I know this because there was a bunch of emails that were unread uh, that suddenly were read. And one particular email was open that I was 99.9% .9 sure was a phishing attempt. Um, I don't click on links from places that I don't know. Um, even if the place sounds legit. And in this case, the place was Band Labs, which is a real application, but also could entirely be spyware on its own. I don't know. Uh, so the thing is, my children, I firmly believe, clicked on the link in that email. Uh, and ergo, the hackers gained access to my computer and were able to get a cache file. I found this out, by the way, from another YouTuber. Thank you so much, by the way. There was a number of even large YouTubers reaching out to me in private, um, not just wishing me good luck, but you know, ones that went through similar situations uh, that have a better understanding of how this happened um, so I can help prevent it. So the thing is, um, there's a cache file logged on your computer. If you're logged into YouTube, that's a master cache. With that cache file, anyone can log into your YouTube channel. doesn't matter how many authentication methods you have, because if you're currently actively logged in at the time, yeah, and I wasn't, by the way, at the time that they clicked on this phishing link, I wasn't actively logged in, but clicking on that link obviously put something on my computer. Um, that, you know, you can call it a key logger, but it really wasn't logging keys. It was going through specifically to find a certain cache file for my YouTube channel. So then that, that day when I logged into YouTube, boom, bam, they got the cache file. So I went through the, the authentication myself to log in and then, boop, boop, as soon as I did, they had that cache file. Now they didn't go at it right away. Um, probably realizing that I just logged into the account. So if they attempted to hack instantly um, I would have noticed and, and, and got the channel shut down really super quick but um, they waited basically until I w there was no activity on the account and then yeah took it over which meant I wasn't at my computer anymore um, so that's how they got it um, my response to that is I completely wiped my computer I did some malware and other sweeps and stuff my, it didn't really turn up anything which by the way you can have malware and key loggers that aren't discoverable in a traditional way. Um, you can go through, you know, it, they, they can embed themselves in programs on your computer. And anyways, the point is I wiped my entire computer and did a fresh install of Windows 11. Um, so yeah, there shouldn't be any loggers anymore. Literally all my hard drives were wiped. Um, the hard part about making a decision to wipe all my hard drives, uh, cause I have like seven of them is I lose pretty much everything that isn't on this laptop. And because of the compromised nature of the desktop, I was not willing to take any files off of that computer and put them on here. So there are some files I'm missing right now. As an example, you guys want the background to my YouTube channel, right? The, the image that says, you know, says the channel name and, and tells you the things we do. Yeah, that was all on the desktop and I was unwilling to grab any file anything off of that computer and put it on here so if it wasn't already on here i no longer have it so all my raw footage is gone um all of my stuff for the stream deck the stream deck's blank it's all gone all my settings for it um voice mods gone um i you know th there's just a lot all my all my video files all my stream files so i can't even set up my live streams the way i used to have them everything is gone because i didn't have backups off of that computer now i had redundant backups on the computer I had backups on two different hard drives. But again, for the sake of being safe, I was unwilling to get the files off of that computer. Maybe that was overkill, but since I didn't know exactly where this thing was on the computer, I wanted to wipe everything. I wanted no risk after getting my channel back that they could just take it again because that would be pointless and we'd just be in a loop with YouTube where they just keep calling me idiot for allowing this to happen. Okay. So I get an email response from them um, 12 hours later. And this is like in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m. Uh, and I just happened to still be awake because I, I, one, I was waiting for a response. Two, I'm super stressed out at this point um, because this live stream was going for seven and a half hours. I was losing lots of subscribers. 
My channel was gone. I had no access to it. I knew the stream itself was something that was illegal. Um, and I had no other way to deal with this. No, nobody at YouTube telling me this is going to be okay. Um, even people telling me that they've dealt with this in the past, not everyone was confident and it would be okay because there were people that got hacked that never got their channel back. So I was literally left in limbo not knowing what was going to happen. So I get the email and they basically say, look, we uh, locked down the account and here's how you can recover it. I uh, went through the recovery process, which was a bit more painful, I think, than it would be for some. I didn't realize this. I don't know when YouTube told me this, by the way. There's a master document inside your account that gives you like 10 of these codes, apparently, and you can hard recover any account if you have these 10 codes. Now, they can only be used once, and once they're all used, you don't have them anymore. I didn't realize that those codes even existed. It was never communicated to me, and I read all the licensing agreements when I signed up for YouTube. Thing is, this, it signed up for YouTube like a decade ago before it was owned by Google. So I have no idea about these master codes, whatever. I have the list of master codes now, but it was, it, anyways. So it was a bit of a pain to get the count back, but then it was all good. And I thought everything was fine. I went to the channel. I changed the name back. I, I changed the um, profile picture back. I, you know, noticed that they actually took a majority of my channel and said it's unlisted. So I set all those videos back to public, which for some ungodly reason led to YouTube sending out thousands of notifications to everyone who was subscribed and then deordering my videos. In fact, right now, I think my videos are still out of order for most of you. They're in order for me, but I think they're out of order for everybody else. And that's to me is just ridiculous. Uh, that that's how that happened. These videos were already published before. Why are they getting new notifications sent out? And YouTube, are you telling me if I'm not getting notifications sent out for a video, I should just unlist it, then send it public again? Is this really how your system works? Because if so, that seems a little ridiculous to me. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. So here I thought everything was fine. We got a few things set up on the channel and I went to bed because it was like 4 a.m. at this point and I'm exhausted. So I wake up, get my, my children off to school and then decide to go deal with some stuff around nine or 10 o'clock. And all of a sudden, oh, my channel is gone. I go to log in, your channel has been terminated. No communication from YouTube, by the way, on why I was terminated. Um, they confirmed I was hacked literally like, you know, six hours earlier, they confirmed that my account was hacked. They know it happened. They helped me recover it and then poof, took the channel away with no communication on why or what to do. So I knew that there isn't a way to appeal terminations. There is a form that you can Google and fill out. Um, basically search and fill out for channel terminations and to dispute them. I did that. The problem is every time I went to submit the form, because it's all automated, uh, yeah, they don't have any way. They, they won't, basically wouldn't let my form get submitted. They kept claiming my Nathan at NintendoPrime.net email was not associated with a Google account. Never mind the fact that email is a Google account because it's a business email through Gmail. So I thought that was weird. So again, I was kind of left in no man's land, not knowing what the hell I'm supposed to do. So again, knowing that I do get a response from at team YouTube, I reached out to them. They took a few hours to get back to me on Twitter. Uh, and they told me, Oh man, that really sucks. That shouldn't have happened. Um, I suggest since that form is because they initially sent me that form and I told them it doesn't work for me. And they said, well, then we suggest emailing back um, the people who contacted you originally about the account thing, which was a, just a generalized email. Uh, and then uh, to tell them what happened. So I did. Um, so a day later, <laughs> they finally respond and they ask for some details. They say, oh, we're sorry that happened. Um, and they go into some more details. Essentially, the reason the channel got terminated um, was automated. The hackers attempted to get back into the account. Now they failed to get back into the account because the master cache file they had before was no longer valid because the information in the cache file had changed. I have a different password now, which I don't even know what it is. Um, that's how complicated the password is. The last password was really complicated too and it took me a long time to memorize, but um, whatever. So the password's really complicated. 
Um, the backup, uh, the, the two-factor authentication is no longer an app on my phone. It's a direct text message to my phone. Uh, and obviously, I changed the backup email and everything. So the thing is, uh, they told me that the hackers attempted to get back in, could not get back in, and that tripped their automated system to terminate my account. Suspicious activity. Sure, let's just terminate, even though we have communication that it was, anyways. Neither here nor there. Um, and they asked me for more information to verify I am who I say I am. The funny thing is, the information they're asking for is information I already given them to recover my account in the first place. So why do I need to give them the exact same information again? I didn't understand this process. It made no sense to me. I clearly confirmed at my backup email that I am who I am already. That's how I got the account back. So why to the same people do I have to reconfirm that information and then wait again for a long email? So. Four hours pass, um, and then early this morning, they sent me another email. In this email, they said, thanks for the information. We'll pass this to our internal team and get back to you. Well, they still haven't gotten back to me, but the channel's back. Uh, originally, when the channel came back, I didn't have access to it. Uh, now I do. I don't really know what's happening. They could rip my access away at any moment because they might determine that, hey, you know, this is the hacker again. I, I don't know. All this to say... I've been very stressed out, not knowing what was going to happen. All I know is I've been very stressed out over the last two days, pulling hair. Um, you can talk to my fiance about it sometime. If she ever comes on, she can let you know how stressful it's been. Um, I just started, you know, the second half of my semester in college right now. Uh, so I didn't need this kind of stress. I didn't need to wipe my computer because I also had school files on there that I no longer have because I can't trust them. Uh, so I lost homework progress this week. It, it's just been... It's been a really rough um, thing. And what sucked is one of these days, the, the day that the hacking happened was the day my mom was taking the kids after school and taking them overnight. So it was supposed to be a stress-free time. Unfortunately, um, it turned out to be the exact opposite. Uh, I, assuming everything's fine and I get it set up, I will do a live stream tonight and we'll chat about things even further in more detail. Um, all I have to say is that YouTube, you need to be able to do better. It... I, I take full responsibility for how I got hacked. I definitely need to shut down my computer at night, even though I like having the updates done in the morning because sometimes they take hours to do. Whatever, I will definitely shut down my computer in the future. My kids don't even know how to log on my computer once that happens, so that'll take care of that so it doesn't happen again. Um, I just... I'm frustrated, okay, with YouTube. This is something that could have been solved in a three minute phone call. How does a multi-billion trillion dollar company not have a better way to communicate with them? By the way, communicate on a platform where I make them money. For those who don't know, they take 30% of everything. Well, they take 50% of ad revenue. So whatever I make, they made the same amount on their side. So when I'm having a really good month, so is YouTube. And then they also take 30% of super chat revenue. So for those who don't know, YouTube takes a cut of everything. So I'm paying them. Now, I understand it's their site, their services. They don't charge me to be here. But I'm paying them lots of money, making them lots of money. And in return, this is the customer service experience for a content creator. Now, yes, if I was a bigger channel, I probably would have got serviced quicker, which shouldn't be the case, but is. All they would need to do is have a call center where people could call in. And I understand the call center would be flooded. I understand there'd be hours of wait. I, you know what, guess what? I had to wait three hours on the phone for customer service from Samsung, and I did it. And I was glad that at the end of that three hours, I talked to a real human. It makes a difference. Google, everything can't be automated. I love technology, and automation can help in some cases. Like, sure, have your forms and all that and have that be automated, but you should have a way to contact customer support directly and actually talk to a human. You know how much less hassle there would be and how much quicker you would solve people's inquiries? A three-minute phone call. I guarantee you there was more than three minutes spent reading emails and sending them back and forth to solve all of this, and obviously dealing with multiple people on the YouTube team, including on their social media channel. Like... Guys, just let me call. I'll wait all day if I have to. But at least at the end when I talk to a human, this would have been solved like that. No problem, no termination, no, uh, no oh, contact, oh, now your account's gone. None of this, none of this stress needed to exist if you would have just let me call and talk to you. 
All right, folks. I'm Nintendo RoboJance from Nintendo Prime. Yes, some giveaways are still going on. People want to know about the Metroid Dread stuff. Uh, might be pushing back the, the final entry date for that yet. We'll see what happens because, um, as I mentioned earlier, I had some uh, one of my bank account got locked up from this because after they got access to that, I didn't know what else they got access to because I had payment details on YouTube. So I locked up my bank, and my bank's going to take like two weeks before it unlocks, and I have to get new cards, and it's just a... It was, a, it was a precaution I did. I did it to prevent fraud. Um, I needed to protect myself and my family, of course. Uh, so that's why I can't, like, there's some people who won, like, Mario Party uh, today. I can't get it to you because I, I don't have access to the bank to pay for it. Sorry. Should be rectified here in a couple weeks. But, um, yeah, we're still doing our giveaways. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to return to normal around here. And I, hopefully after today I never need to talk about this again. But it was not a fun situation. Uh, moving forward, I do have a second channel called Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz. I will link that down in the description. Uh, that's just my name. Um, go subscribe to that. YouTube did tell me that if this happens again, they're not going to take out a second channel I have. So if we can grow a second channel alongside this one, that gives me another place to give updates to more directly than you know making you guys follow on Twitter and stuff. Obviously, you're here on YouTube. You enjoy YouTube. So go subscribe to that channel, and I can do updates there uh, and videos there. And who knows? Maybe if it gets enough subscribers, maybe I make separate content there that's separate from Nintendo stuff. But... Um, thank you guys for all the support and all the kind words. Uh, there's only been a few jerks out there trying to like poke at me. And, um, so some of our followers know who those jerks are that we're, that we're trying to, you know, pile on me while I'm down, but we're back. And as far as I know, everything's back to normal, sort of not in studio cause I lost everything, but all right. Thank you guys. Catch you in the next video.